As a reminder, in the last lesson, you started with two separate datasets, dataset 1 and dataset 2. And both datasets contain the exact same variables, var1, var2, and var3. However, they weren't identical because they contained different observations. Your goal was to combine these datasets vertically, or add observations from one dataset to the other dataset. In this lesson, you again begin with two separate datasets, dataset 1 and dataset 2. But unlike before, these datasets share only one variable in common, and the data contained in both datasets pertains to the same observations. Your goal is, once again, to combine these datasets, but this time you want to combine them horizontally, or add variables from one dataset to the other dataset, a process known as merging. When you combine datasets horizontally, it's important to ask yourself, what is the relationship between observations in the input datasets? The observations can be related in several different ways. In a one-to-one -one relationship, a single observation in one dataset is related to one and only one observation in the other dataset based on the values of one or more common variables. For example, Suppose two datasets contain participant ID numbers for the same group of study participants. One dataset contains demographic data that was collected during screening and enrollment. The other dataset contains grip strength data collected at one of the study's clinical sites. Here, each participant ID appears once in each dataset, and each observation in one dataset has one matching observation in the other dataset. In a one-to-many relationship, a single observation in one dataset is related to multiple observations in the other dataset. In a many-to-one relationship, multiple observations in one dataset are related to a single observation in the other dataset. And finally, in a many-to-many -many relationship, multiple observations in one dataset are related to multiple observations in the other dataset. In this lesson, you will learn to combine datasets that have all of these relationships. Now suppose that you want to combine these two datasets. The first dataset, Demographics, contains the participant ID, gender, and study site for each participant. The second dataset, Grip Strength, contains the participant ID, right-hand grip strength, and left-hand grip strength for the same set of participants. You want to combine these two datasets horizontally so that each observation provides all possible information about each participant. Combining datasets in this way is sometimes called match merging. Which variable can you use to match merge these datasets? You can use the ID variable for the match merge. Here's another question. Do these datasets have a one-to-one -one relationship? Yes, because each dataset contains the same four participant ID numbers. To match merge using the data step, you use the merge and by statements. Notice that this data step does not have a set statement. Instead, it uses a merge statement. The merge statement joins observations from two or more SAS datasets into single observations. To combine datasets, you specify at least two datasets in the merge statement. Below the merge statement is a by statement. You use the by statement to interleave datasets in the last lesson. Here, the by statement performs a match merge by matching observations on one or more by variables. Like interleaving datasets, when you match merge using a by statement, you must first make sure your input datasets are sorted on the by variables. Now, watch this demonstration and learn how to match merge datasets. In this demonstration, you are once again using data from your advisees. The first dataset is called advisees underscore personal. It has three variables, first name, gender, and program. It also has four observations one for Allison, Ming, Brian, and Keisha. The second data set is called advisees underscore grades and includes your advisees letter grades in the MPH core courses. You want to combine these two data sets into one data set that includes personal information and grades for each of the four observations. In this data step, you are creating a new temporary data set named advisees. Instead of a set statement, you use a merge statement to tell SAS to read in data from multiple data sets, in this case, advisees underscore personal and advisees underscore grades. Then you use a by statement to tell SAS to match up observations in the two data sets with the values contained in the variable first. Let's run this data step along with the print procedure and view the data. You ran the code, but the list report doesn't look like what you wanted. Let's check the log to see what went wrong. 
Here, SAS is telling you that the data set advisees is incomplete. Above, SAS tells you that the reason advisees is incomplete is that one of your data sets was not sorted by the by variable listed in the by statement. Let's go back, sort the input data sets, and try again. Now you have two proc sort steps, one for each of the input data sets. Below the proc sort steps, you have the exact same data step and print procedure from above. Let's submit this program and view the results. And there's your list report, showing that the data set advisees contains all eight variables for all four students. Now you practice merging data sets. Now suppose that your grip strength study has a longitudinal design. The demographics data was only collected at enrollment into the study. After all, it's highly unlikely that a participant's gender will change, and the site they were recruited at can never change. It was a one-time event. Grip strength, however, was measured pre and post some intervention. Now what is the relationship of these two data sets? These data sets have a one-to-many relationship. The same participant ID numbers are listed in both data sets. Demographics has one observation for each value of ID. Grip strength has two observations for each value of ID. To conduct your analysis, you need to combine the data in the demographics data set with the data in the longitudinal grip strength data set. And how will you tell SAS to merge these two data sets? Well, here is some good news. To perform a one-to-many, many-to-one, or many-to-many -many merge, you use the exact same syntax as you used to perform the one-to-one -one merge. SAS will figure out which type of merge it is automatically. You now know how to get data stored in many different file formats into SAS. Once in SAS, you can enhance it in many different ways and manipulate it using conditional and iterative processing. After this module, you should be able to do all of those things regardless of the number of data sets the data you need happens to be spread across.